everyone. It's Charlton, and it's just about midnight on Sunday, and uh, Obrador has, has won the presidential election in uh, Mexico. Uh, Lopez Obrador, Obrador, or AMLO, uh, as many people like to call him, which is the, the acronym for his, his full name. So he has won. And he's the uh, the far left candidate. He's sort of considered the Trump of Mexico, a populist. And uh, he he, you know he I think uh, you know early on he might have been considered somewhat of a more of a long shot. But as we approach this this day, you know I think it's this was fairly expected. Even though he won in massive fashion, he really did. Uh, it's 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 fairly impressive. Winning with 49% of the vote. I don't know when this Bloomberg article was written, but as of this Bloomberg article, the count was 49% to him and 29, 27% to his closest opponent and 18% to the next guy. So, and those two dudes, his uh, both both other candidates have called and conceded he is the next president of Mexico. In fact, Donald Trump tweeted out uh, congratulating him. Congratulations to Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. I'm becoming the next president of Mexico. I look very much forward to working with him. There is much, there is much that that to be done that will benefit both the United States and Mexico. So, and he's been highly critical of Trump. Actually, that's part of what propelled him to you know to leader of the pack. Even though all of them have been, um, but this is one of the uh, he did it better than anybody else in terms of standing up to Trump. And uh, over, you know, uh, one of the big issues is the wall. You know, he, he's adamantly against that. And I think that's where, uh, that's where my focus is on this. In terms of just my political curiosity is, well, I really still, I, I wonder whether or not that's going to happen. And I don't really have, uh, I don't I mean, I don't, I'm not opposed to the wall being built. I have zero problem with it. But it's I'm not I'm not like I wasn't really like super super for it too. However, my views have changed a little bit, you know, after what we've seen with this uh, the the you know the migrant crisis and the family separations and all that. And I wanna I wanna say that to the end. But I think uh, and Trump was actually trying to show and and push the issue to illustrate that actually um, the wall is a little more necessary than you might think. And I'm sort of starting to think that it is necessary because of. Let me just let me just let me let me let me do that to the end. So, I mean, there's not a ton to say about this individual. And by the way, he does not speak English. I was just curious, just morbidly curious, because a lot of Mexican presidents do. In fact, a lot of Mexican presidents are educated here. You know, I was I was sort of surprised to learn that much of Mexican politics has been dominated by the right. Now, that's the right of Mexican politics, you know. And I you know, I do think that Mexico, Central America, South America, you know. What's viewed on the right there is not the same as what's viewed on the right here. But the president of Mexico has been largely on the right uh, of their political system for like the last hundred years, you know. So it's a big deal that he actually won being a far left candidate. He ran on, you know, he ran as a champion of the poor and rural Mexicans, you know, which is a little different there because I think a lot of Mexican politics is, is dominated from the, the big urban centers, the population centers, Mexico City, which he was the mayor of. And I'm pretty sure Mexico City is like just massive. It's like New York City, maybe, maybe even bigger. But um, who also said he would root out corruption? They all say that, though. Give scholarships or, pay, or paid apprenticeships to youth. Increase support payments for the elderly. He also promised to grant amnesties to some criminals amid a wave of violence that's the bloodiest scene in the last two decades and take a reduced presidential salary too so um but you know he uh he did oppose trump on in, in many ways and that was one of the things that it was his greatest appeal to voters so it'll be interesting interesting to see how that goes forward however though i mean what's what's said on the political stump even in mexico is, uh, it's, it's different than when you actually have to govern. And from what I understand, you know, listening to the former ambassador to, to, to Mexico from the United States who actually resigned because of her you know, um, resistance to Trump, <coughs> he was, she was saying he's a little bit more practical than uh, you know, some of the fire rhetoric he, rhetoric he uses. He supposedly is very similar to Trump in the way he campaigns and um, you know, uh, that he's impulsive and all this other stuff. So... 
It says, Lopez Obrador has ripped the Trump administration policy of separating families who cross the border illegally as arrogant, racist, and inhuman. He, uh, he also vowed, to, this part I did not understand, he also vowed to roll back some of outgoing President Enrique Peña Nieto's policy towards Central American migrants who cross Mexico's own southern border, saying that his government would no longer do Trump's dirty work. I don't understand that. I mean, what is the former president or the president now, uh, Enrique Peña Nieto's, do? I mean, because uh, I, I just don't, I'm not sure I fully get that. The big thing is the wall. I wonder if this is actually going to be uh, lead to a bigger push for the wall or or what because I think it might and what I was trying to say before I mean I don't know that there's a whole lot more to add on uh, on uh, uh, AMLO if I think of it I will what I was trying to say before is that I don't really it didn't really I mean I'm not opposed to the wall being built whatsoever but I also wasn't like a huge proponent of it. It really doesn't uh, make much difference to me. However, watching what happened this summer, and I do think that's part of why Trump sort of pushes the issue. He, he, you know, he just doesn't let problems, uh, he doesn't just stick his head in the sand, which I think other previous presidents has continued to do because it's, it's such a difficult problem. And rather than deal with it, they just ignore it and look the other way. Um, because if you do I mean, if you do what you're supposed to, this is what you get. You basically, I mean, if you if you detain people at the border with children, you're going to end up with this situation. And basically, if you just, you're going to end up with, you're going to end up with, um, you know, uh, basically, we can't, we don't have the capacity to detain all these people, let alone deal with the with the families too. And that's what it's proving is that in order to do it and to, to deal with the volume of the numbers of people that are coming across the border, and as I understand, it, it's very seasonal. So in the summer, it's 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 much more than during the other months, you know. But we we have to we would have to use army bases and 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 we need additional funds. We literally do not have the resources, the capacity to to process these people. And then the only but the only solution that all other previous presidents have done is just look the other way and just let them come in. It just proves that they're just they're just letting them come in, man. You know, so uh, it almost has kind of proven. To, I mean, I actually think we do need a wall, even though before I really didn't care. I mean, I'm not wasn't against it, but I, um, you know, I just didn't um, I didn't I didn't have a huge opinion on it. I don't have a huge opinion on it now, but I actually kind of think we do. And frankly, my point is. That after this guy becoming president, I think it might happen, man. And uh, the wall. And, and one last thing before I close this video out. Just because, ah, just one specific, you know, I made a video about my wife's family. And them, um, you know, my wife's Persian. And them getting rejected at the, at the embassy in Dubai. And I was so shocked to learn that, you know, it's not just rhetoric. That, that the Trump administration is literally implementing implementing exactly what they're saying they're doing. It's not just like, uh, you know, what they say, say in the Sunday talk shows. They're really doing it. And so this is, was one of the biggest promises he made. I think he's actually going to build the wall. And uh, that's the end of this video, man. But this dude has won. We'll see, we'll see where this goes. We have, a, I think, a $100 billion deficit in trade with them, you know, uh, I mean, whatever, you know, wherever you lie, I think it's undeniable that Mexico depends on the United States way more than we depend on them. And that's just an economic fact, man. You know, it's not, has nothing to do with ethnicity. It's just mathematics, you know. And uh, so that's the story there, man. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.